Hello everyone, this is first lecture of our design pattern series and our first design pattern is factory design pattern. This design pattern is lied in the creational design pattern category means it will deal object creational logic. Now we will see what is factory design pattern. In this basically we abstract the object creational logic from the user and based on parameter we create object for uh, our user. For example, if we see this concept graphically then we have one base type here which have three types type 1 type 2 and type 3 and there is one factory function in which we are going to pass a string and on basis of that string we create a particular object of these uh, classes type 1 type 2 or type 3 for example from factory if we get a type 1 string then we will return type 1 object to uh, our factory so this was a graphical view of our factory design pattern now I'm going to share with you a practical example of factory design pattern. Hope so you understand it better. Now first of all we need a base class. Let's create a class. So before moving forward let me tell you one thing that uh, for explaining this factory design pattern I'm going to share with you a pizza example. Now our base class will be an interface type in which we will create different pizza types. Now for uh, base class we can use interfaces or abstract class it's all up to you. In interface we only define layout but in abstract classes with layout we can also define uh, the data. But it will all depends on our object creation requirements that might be more suitable by creating with interface or by creating with abstract classes. Now we will have one function in our IPSA interface which is our base class and that will be our make pizza function now for the sake of simplicity i'm going to give all of its types in the same uh, file let's create different i pizza types first type will be our chicken barbecue now on it i'm going to implement i pizza interface next class will be chicken fajita type which is also implementing IPSA interface and third type is chicken dancing fajita this is third type on which we are implementing again IPSA base class so now we have one base class IPSA and again this IPSA we have three types chicken fajita, chicken dancing fajita and chicken barbecue so now according to our graphical view of factory design pattern we need a factory class and function let's give it a name pizza factory normally in factory design pattern we have static function in factory class and this function will return i pizza interface and its name will be create now in its params we need to pass those three types so we can pass those by strings or by anim and uh, i think uh, anim will be more uh, perfect for this so let's create an anim here now in this input parameter we will pass anim now on basis of this anim we will uh, have a switch statement if we have uh, our case one like uh, barbecue then it will create the object of uh, barbecue type but if the anim is fajita then we will create object of fajita third case is dancing fajita if we have anim dancing fajita then there will be a uh, chicken dancing fajita object will be created and in default case uh, i'm going to return null so this is the factory now we will uh, go to main class where we will create this factory object and uh, pass the particular anim and according to that anim we will create our object so this is our main class and by using one function we will create different objects here pizza factory dot create and in this we will pass pizza anim dot barbecue and then we will just call its make pizza function next we will call for fajita and barbecue 
now let's run it so here we created three objects chicken barbecue chicken fajita chicken dancing fajita this is the way factory design pattern works so if we see in our code uh, we just abstract our object creational logic but by only passing enum we are creating the object hope you understand this design pattern and for next design pattern lectures you need to be connect with us so guys subscribe my channel and like and share this video thanks for watching